Yeah. Losers. 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 Winners. But they're two losers. We're losers now, and then we losers like after. One more losers. But we do the winners now, and then whoever loses the winners ends up fighting the winners of the losers, and then whichever best loser ends up at the top fights off against the winners okay. of the winners. And the winners of the winners has the advantage, of course, because he's the winners of the winners. Because he never and lost. It's like, hashtag uh, be good. Okay. Never lose. Shadow Priest, Druid Rogue. Let's do it. Wow. Old reference. Yeah, I remember that. Those days, man. That was a good time. I, I miss them. I miss, I miss, I miss those days. <laughs> oh, the best days. Now so, we can only remember. Begin. Zalay and Shaki. Shaki's smiling, man. He's feeling good. Zalay's had a really rough run, aside from the carry. In the oh, uh, not like this. Well, Temple Mage, Zoo, and uh, Warrior. That's like good. It's good stuff. Good. But the Paladin's got a pretty good hand. Um, it can only improve if you throw away the. the Shaki's already letter. talking smack. Of course, it's Shaki. Oh man, Sir Finley and Paladin. Turn one. The Ebola is real. Double Flame Wanker. That's good, but no coin. Coin's a really big deal in Temple Mage. Yeah. So when you can Flame Wanker coin missiles, you shoot seven missiles. You know, maybe that's. That's a, a lot of missiles. Now that I think about it, like the forbidden card that they're getting might just be good because it's zero. Like, I was considering it in terms of the amount of damage it deals, but because of Temple Mage being a thing, it might just be straight up playable as a enabler for Flame Waker. Uh, or hey, but is, is Flame Waker even in standard? Yeah, it's Black Rock Mountain. Okay. So Forbidden Flame is uh, possibly good. Yo, is yo, yo. What's going on? So you, you uh, do a turn, you have one mana left. Forbidden Flame does one and two missiles. And two missiles? Not bad. Yeah. It's like a Ghetto Arcane Blast. Mm. With the swag points of having cost you zero. Cost you one if you have one. Cost you zero. Yeah, yeah, if it costs zero, it does only. Well, it'll do zero, but if you have spell damage with blood mage, it'll deal one baseline. Boom. You need zero. Quickly. It's fine. Live tap. I mean, what else? I mean, you have divine favor. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe you, you don't have it in your hand. I mean, I, you. There we go. Live tap. Yeah, I mean, you probably don't hear a power. Okay, so zero. just worm, just worm and chill. I like worm. You gotta chill though, you gotta chill. Yeah, you gotta worm and chill. It's the new Netflix. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. You get, that's how you get your worm in there. Know what I'm saying? Bow, bow, Not bow, me. Bow. Know what I'm saying? You gotta get Not me. Wet. So if he's going knife drill or abusive. This abusive is so good. It's so good. But muster is better? No, no, the abusive's too Never. good. I'm looking at abusive on my phone. Oh, yeah. Knife face, knife face, knife face. Knife face! I mean, Max? Uh, wrong target. That's the time. Why am I even playing this game? Oh! The plays! So, do you just flame wank? I guess. Yeah, you just drop one because you have another one next turn. Yeah, because like, the, the, the flame wank here on four is really good. You just drop one, like, sup, and then the other guy's like, Raffle, mate. I muster. Three okay. knives. Yeah. And then you flame wanker again in missiles, and you probably. Hit everything. You don't get that lucky actually, and then you lose. Oh huh? my god, double mustard. Reporting for duty. All face. Reporting for duty. Wow. Pretty good. Okay, now this point. Let's let's see. Uh, this one like I can do it. Let's it see if these go it. all face too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the vengeance. You can actually full clear with this. Yeah, it's you just have to never hit face. Never hit face. And you full clear. Always lucky. Okay, not face. No. Oh, that's face. <laughs> face! <laughs> Nicely done, Flame Wanker. Oh what? my god! What a disaster! What is going on? Yeah, Zalay. Oh my god, and uh, Kings comes that's out. That's it, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's GG. Well, you know what Unstable Portal does to this game. Turns it from a uh, very skill demanding. Get well, there's a ton of stuff you can get. You can get Argent Commander, very good. Um, Ooh, Fire Rally. Oh! We need, a, we need a fire alley. Fire alley. Fire elemental, let's do it. Oh, this. but you can't get it after sources. Yeah, you have to go like Unstable Portal first, which I... I mean, you might do it anyway since you have the extra mana, right? There's no, you a, go Sources Apprentice. Because you, you get a ping on top? And you get the Arcane Blast the Knife Juggler. But, I mean, if, if you do this, then you only get to ping and you can't play a 3-drop. Is the ping worth it? Because if you play Unstable first and you pick up Fire Ellie, then you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not really getting a Fire Ellie. Watch him get Fire Ellie. <laughs> you're like, no! Flame Wanker would be huh? too. Yeah, Murlocs are kind of okay. It's zero. Yeah, so the knife juggler is gone. Yeah, knife juggler is gone, so the one ones matter more. Okay. I like that. 
Is he, is, he in, is he in a good spot, you'd say, or...? No. Okay. The Pally's still ahead. Pally's in a great spot. Yeah, Pally's got options. He's got a Flame Juggler and another Muster. Yeah. Those, those one those damage good. things, man. Everywhere. So, Zelay plays Flame Strike. We know that much. But against two Shredders, that doesn't do much. Yeah. That's far away, anyway. Here, um... Well... The only decision he wants to make before he Flame Jugglers is whether his 5-2 is trading into that 3-2. And it is. So now he should Flame Juggler. Now whichever one it doesn't hit, you melee. Oh, okay. Now you melee the big one. <laughs> is it the day and now everything just everything's just going face, yeah. man? Just spam your smarts. Um, there's a world in which he picks up another missile. You know, that That's is not a bad. decent card when you've got the water Okay, alley water alley, cross bolt, trade, trade, trade one ones. I like it. But okay, the ping. mage does need a really good top deck next turn, and the the, the pally does not. Yeah, because the, like the thing with this thing is the pally's got two shredders, so he's got things to do for the next two turns. Well, with the tap too, like the tap is also making this even worse for uh, for Zelay. Yeah, I'll just skip the tap and do an upper now. Yeah, good. probably. You got a lot of phase damage. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay, flame strike. Yeah. Flame strike. He actually has it in his deck. Yeah, he's got. Oh. It. Uh, Wait, that's a lot of damage soon. Nah. So if you you're losing the race. This is actually almost look for Doomsayer situation. I, I mean, I, th I think freezing the face is good because True Silver misses every time. Um, and the removal you have. Yeah, yeah, just what do you do with this? Well, you can kill a two three, and you can ping the Leper Gnome. That's enough. Yeah. Because that way, what's on the board doesn't kill your Water Ellie. Unless he really commits a ton, but he's got five to your face. So he's still in a bad spot. In a really bad spot. And Sopsy actually attacks. Yeah, that is not good. For you. you just face it. You don't even kill the water. No, you just go face. Smork. Yep. Let's go. Is flame strike? Flame strike is hardly worth. Like, it's hardly gonna oh. work. But it's. It's the only card that works at all, though. Oh my god. That's three damage off lethal. And that's gonna be it. I mean, you can look for a. You can look for. You can wait. How much damage off lethal? I said three. Yeah. So the frost bolt that did not. Go face. Oh. oh. Wow. Yeah. Wait, maybe he should have thought that f the second fireball was only out, and if you frostbolt it, pss, yeah. Or maybe the maybe the pally then would have traded into the water alley with maybe. both minions. I don't know if he would have though. He was so far ahead. Um, okay, he's he's gonna go all in. He's doomsayer. <laughs> doomsayer. Uh, uh, dude, the yeah. two the two fireball vanilla itself. beasts. The nice. two vanilla beasts. He did it. Yep. Oh! Doomsayer 0, Shocky 4. It's true though, everybody up against Shocky has been trying to get Doomsayers to, to drop. Dang, yo. Dang. Dang, yo. Dang. Kaboom, boom, yo. Soldier boy, I'll pin ya. Whoa! Shocky just comes out of nowhere. What? Strike was actually lying on the bed, right? I don't think nobody could, saw, could see him, right? Like, he's got, um. Now he's gonna brush his teeth. Yeah. This is just home. <laughs> Amaz's room. Yeah, everybody sleeps in the mother's room, like at random times during the day, mm. with or without other people, um, with or without clothes. Oh, it's a, it's yeah. a really big. Uh... Oh yeah. Hello. Trying to say the most cap pride thing I can say. Oh. Are we okay. Are we good. Yeah, sure. Yo, when's the next game? Soon. There we go. Okay. Um. Looks like we will have Warlock versus Shaman. It's Zoo. Um, by the way, if you're just tuning in, you can't have any cards that have the same attack and health. So, so you'll see some cards missing that you might expect, like Dark Peddler. Uh, Shit and Axe. Drill the Claw. Yeah. Ancient of Lore. Because of that, we haven't even seen Druid. We've seen one Druid. It was Aggro Druid with Admirable. Oh, yeah. It, ended up, it actually uh, won that game. It won one game. It lost, first, to uh, yeah. lost to Warrior. The double Shield Block, man. MVP. Yeah, this zoo hand. Yeah, Shadow Tone Cleric is also. This not a shaman card hand expect. is also really good. I think the shaman hand is better by a long shot, just because well, tunnel chalk. <laughs> it, <laughs> it takes one card because there's no answer to a tunnel chalk in zoo. There's no dark bomb. Also, we heard Strife Grove spit magnificently. When you totem golem, unfortunately, you can't white you just kill crackle. the void walker. You just crackle every day. Just crackle the void walker. I mean, you might flame tongue. Why not? Let's see. The void walker comes. Oh, out. he's just gonna flame juggler. 
We'll have to see what uh, what the decision is because Flame Juggler missing would actually be uh, like if, yeah, if the trade is made. Okay, well, I was gonna say if the trade is made and it misses, then your Knife Juggler has to hit. So, so Totem Golem is a great card, but it also makes Abusive a lot better. Crackle is probably so it's between the Crackle and Totem Golem. I'm partial to Crackle because there's no way he kills. Uh, Okay. Yeah, there's no way he kills your Trog afterwards, and you can probably trade up with the 3 2 afterwards into something like a Voidwalker, Good and then you play the Totem Golem. Hmm, that's smart. Actually, one, two. Awesome. Everybody's coming in the room for the bottles of water, man. Okay. Goodbye forever, guys. Aw, oh, man. That's all you needed us for? Hide your bottles. She. Yep. Hide your. Yeah. Alright. Uh. So. Got a long decision here. Yeah, very tough decision. Do you play Crackle? Or do totem you not golem? play? I mean. Well, chat, say what you would do. Would you Crackle or Totem Golem? For one. Go. Oh, you would Crackle. Well, he would. But what would you do? Every At day home. I'm crackling. So I feel like uh, Zale here has an implosion. Yeah, that's a really good card. That's Next a turn. Card to save him. If this Voidwalker knife hits the Totem Golem. Wait. This knife juggler can't die. It's this turn. It's. Well, with the current hand, because there's no way he can unoverload himself unless. Yep. So that knife juggler is gonna live, and implosion's gonna go off, and, and everything's gonna go face. Okay. Even if he hits a three, it's full clear. No, he's a lot of the time. He's hitting for two. Oh, the here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Are you ready to roll dice? I think this is gonna have to hit for four. Even with a three, you still clear a lot of time. He's hitting for three. Three. Okay. And boom. one. And two. That's and it. And well done, Zale. Take that smirk that's... off Shockey's face. I think uh, that's going to be it. Well, no, it's not over. There's the Ardent Horse Rider. Still, man, look at that. Don't look at that board presence, you know? Yeah. Zale's got a very... Now you... Uh... I mean, the ooze is, like, absolute dominance if Doomhammer comes out ever. So, I think you're right. It's over. We must but this Flame Juggler left in Shockey's hand. Can turn the tide a little bit. You kill a 1-1. One, one. You kill that imp. Holy guacamole. 25%. Can I get some pog champs in the chat? Yeah. This it's is not... <gasps> nope. Hit face. <gasps> I mean... <gasps> you don't need to life tap when you've got a hand like this. So the thing is, this entire board also trades with... Uh, with the lays. Look at all the pog champs. Good job, Chad. Good job, Rekful. You guys are great. You're like the dad of all these people. It's rocket dad. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, here... Here... We have a decision. No. Well, how many decisions do you have here? You could do something involving life tap, egg, abusive. Or you could do something like Get abusive and doom guard. Maggot. And... I, I'm pretty partial to the doom guard play. Yeah. Um, yeah, you start pushing damage. I mean, the, the thing is, like, if you put him on a timer, you still win. You still be Doomhammer, right, with that play? So. Do, do, do. Well, he didn't tap first, so he's going Doomguard. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason. Let's go. So the question now is, like, do I trade or do I not trade? Right? That's what he's asking he's like, himself. Like, a part of him is thinking, like, uh, I like this. You push three. You push like eight damage this turn. You set up straight face. Just straight face. Three. Yeah. That's Let's right. go. Well, look at this. The Lepernome can deal six, so wouldn't take too much more to kill the Doom Guard. Wait, once you start trading his face shaman, you pretty much know you're not winning. It takes a feral spirit. Oh wait, that is a lot less investment now. Mm. Depends. Like, there's so many ways to. I'm not enjoying this turn as the face shaman. <laughs> Why, because you're not going face? No, I just want to go face, man. Look, he just can see. <laughs> see? I told you. Shocky was like, never mind that. Alright, so the legend is going to take the Warlock. Um, but, I mean, there's a Warrior there, and there's a Temple Okay, mage. the Warlock always wins in this format, because it hardly loses anything. Just lost Dark Peddler. One card, you know? Yeah. Well, it lost... Warlock's um, a god. Void Terror, like if you're format. playing Janky List, Sea Giant, uh, if you're playing the, those weird... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Board but it can make, you can make a Tier 1 deck Without with that. the restrictions. Yeah, easy. And it's tier one even when it's against other decks that use cards with the same attack and health like Dr. Boom. Yeah, and even if they were to play that stuff, you yeah. could still get away with uh, making Yeah, so you, you could be against a Druid who has all those cards. 
also win. Anyway, it's 1-1. One, one. What about Dragon Lock? Could you play? Oh, no, Pillar's gone. You probably lose too much. You lose Azure Drake. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, Dragon. Drake is gone. Um, okay, got Zoo again. Well, Tempo Mage again. Shocky likes Zoo. Zelay likes Zoo. Uh, Tempo, Tempo Mage, Mage is really bad against Zoo. Yeah. <laughs> the reason it's so bad... Um, they get early board presence, and then you, you have this one turn where you could try to clear their stuff with Flame Waker, but if they happen at if you don't clear all their stuff, then they always clear Flame Waker even with like any random thing on the board because they have abusive or power bomb or something. Yeah, the bus. And then um sometimes they have an egg or an imking boss on the board and you just can't clear it. Yeah. And then they'll use that the egg to power bomb and clear flame waker and you're, you're just gonna have a bad time. And you, mean, things need to go really well. Yeah, the Flame Waker has to hit perfectly, and the thing with the, the Flame Waker here is even with the coin and the Arcane Missile, it doesn't help that situation where there's Death Rattles on the board. Although, okay, uh, if we look at the hand of the Lock, he has no Egg or Imp Gang Boss, and the, the Mage does have what he needs, Flame Maker, Coin Missile, so there is a chance. Oh, That's good, wow, that's that really good. That is insanely good. good for Zelay. Well done, Zelay. Alright. He's like, do we play this card? Uh, that's a rhetorical question, I think. So, it'll probably be... You are can blast this turn, then he drops juggler. Maybe you just ping. <laughs> just pointing at his face. Did you just ping? Yeah, you might ping to set up the better missiles, right? They're laughing about something. Ah, you know this is not too bad for the Temple Mage, even though it's a bad matchup. It's... What are you looking for here, though? They're, like maybe Sorcerer Apprentice. What? Um, I would play that every day. Okay. Like, what does the what does the zoo do? Trade away the juggler? The zoo hopes he draws another minion he can play with the Voidwalker and knife it twice. Yeah. And he's like, let's go. And Shocky picks up. Let, let it be Doom uh, number two. Uh, okay. Okay, two minions. You definitely a, go for it. There's a chance. Here it's we not go. Unlike you two. 25%. Not nope. happening anymore. If he was going to trade, he should have done it before that knife. Yeah. Okay, slight misstep there because it could have hit the minion. You would have wasted one damage. But it went well. And now the thing is, there's a total of seven missiles going out. With six no, you don't do it yet. You don't do it yet. Okay, so Against two Voidwalkers? You don't do it. You're not threatened. You just like... You ping. You can just Flame, flame cannon. cannon. Remove three health off the board? Yeah. You you don't you don't Flame Maker this stuff. Okay. I mean, you do get a 2-4. And he has to PO that stuff. So abusive alone doesn't do it. I'm surprised if he Flame Makers this turn. Huh. Just, that's really not threatening. I yeah, see. I like this. The threat of Argus is like the single best threat, which is which why... Flame I guess Flame cannon's, cannon's better in that spot, so... It's Flame Cannon's going to be hard to use later, too. Black Knight! Did he expect any Druids coming out of this? Because they can't be played. Hmm. Sunwalker is okay. Priest. Probably Priest, Deathlord. Aqua turns for the Mage now, too. Uh, well. <laughs> okay, uh, you can Flame Maker going Frostbolt. Oh, God. It's not gonna, you're not going to full clear, though, and you're going to end up... I don't know. I don't like now that. It's, it's a little awkward I, now. I think it's now. like just as awkward. The only thing you're doing by Frostbolting is you're setting up a really disgusting Flame Strike. Okay, so you're starting with like, just Frostbolt, which is the same idea as last year with the Flame Cannon. And just ping, I think, on that 3-1, that 3-2. Yeah. Set up a better missile. Yeah, I mean, at this point... I would just Doomguard as the lock, just boom, let's go. What are you going to do with Black Knight? Unless this Nothing. isn't... Yeah, this is great. This is perfect. You just go. Like you get to free, you get to life tap for the rest of the game without... No, 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 don't life tap. Come no. on. What are you doing? Shaki. What are you doing? What's he going to do? You're going to discard more good stuff. Doom Guarding was actually so good there. Yeah, it was great. I mean, he has to fireball coin ping. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's disgusting now. Okay, All right, now we ahead. absolutely Flame Waker. Uh, no, because he could Doom Guard a Flame Waker, but, you know, he... Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. he can do it. We, we, we full clear here. Will we contest with the... Uh, three. Just gonna coin missile, probably. Unless... And it, but this is what I was talking about. Like, even when you full clear, even if this is the best possible situation, you full clear. Yeah, I like this play. Then your, your guy dies... And, and you can't do much after. Ah, yeah. This feels like justice. I mean, you might play Black Knight as a tempo tool, but you lose. If, if you play Implosion and it you're doesn't hit... You're playing Black Knight, you're like, oh, he's going to Fireball in or something. But he doesn't have Fireball, but you're thinking that. You Doom play Implosion, guard. it's only if you get a 4. You probably just Doom Guard and you just... Yeah. You're like, okay. Why didn't he Doom Guard like the turn before? Yeah, because he couldn't have full cleared that. And, I mean, it would be Frostbolted right now, probably. Then he would have drawn another Doom Guard, maybe. Yeah. Just killed him. Well, actually, he wouldn't have drawn it yet. Implosion stays, so the, the really Flame Waker being gone makes this uh, <laughs> Okay, Flame Cannon Ping. Flame Cannon Ping. The, game, the game's actually uh, now in anyone's hands. Yeah, because I mean, it, there's no Dr. Boom though, man. It's a lot more in the Zelay's hands. Now, like, had he just Doom Guarded before, he would still have his other Doom Guard. Uh, he'd be drawing it now. Yeah. 
This is really rough because now that like he's and he Shockey's had bad cards. Like, like he had Black Knight and a Flame Juggler. You don't care about discarding those. Yeah, I, I don't like. He he might still win, but I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, not only are you overloaded because okay. you have to life tap every turn, but this next turn you might just implosion your own egg if you have nothing. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have a uh, when you're dropping this conjurer, you're like, ah, oh, it's probably gonna die to that egg. Yeah. He used has two dead cards. Like you're thinking that was a power of whelming. But you got flame strike. But uh, yeah, you definitely still conjure. I think. Okay, now. I might have done the conjurer just because if the egg gets popped with PO, I have flame strike to deal with the four four. And there's no load up, so. Okay, now we're gonna have an implosion on the shredder. Then we'll see what's under there. Oh. Ooh. And then we'll have an Argus on the egg. And if it's a one health, man. Let's see. Four little dudes. Okay, he's still Argus. Oh, <laughs> Garrison Commander is great. Just Argus. This card is insane. This card is insane. My shield Let's go. It's insane. It's not insane. It's it's purely insane. Two pings. Oh it's my insane. god. It's insane. I can't believe it. Actually, what he really wanted was a three attack minion, so he could kill so the could egg kill and then flame egg. strike. Yeah. Well. But you know what? It's still fun. You could try to miss the egg. Oh, 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 perfect. Oh, oh. Okay. So you kill the egg and you flame strike. It's only play. You arcane blast it. You hit it with the garrison commander. You press flame strike. Garrison commander is an insane two three here. For sure. Come on. The There's no way he does anything else. Are you crazy? Is he really thinking like I'm gonna say this flame strike one more time? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I, yeah, well, why not? Let, let's get greedy. Maybe Seven you minions. Do. Maybe you do. Maybe yeah. you do. Like you arcane missiles your way to the win. Okay, let's go. Arcane blast, flame strike, full clear. But now the opponent has another infusion. Oh, man, that sucks. Like, it kills it every missiles. time. And then we're gonna have a conjure and an arcane missiles. Try and clear that up. Let's see what goes from there. And Shalky's face is looking a little bit less smiley. That imp flame up is not what he wanted. It's a three-two though. Oh, that Ooh, is imp very boss is good. Very good. Yeah, insane drive. That's oh my god, he got a four. I can't even hearthstone anymore. So I think if you play, he needs another flame strike off his conjure. Let's go. For I next mean, turn. Blizzard is also okay, considering it'll clear up most things. Right. You might pick up Nova here. Another missile? I, yeah. <laughs> okay. You might? Yeah, you, you yeah. take the missile. I think the missile's pretty good. But Pyro is wind, because we have Fireball, right? Yeah, you need to find four more face damage. Something. That is right there. Three to face. Oh, no. Okay, Not like this. Box, <laughs> okay. What Clean if you pinged face? <laughs> Can you imagine how busted that would be? I mean, if there's one more life tap, you're close enough to lethal, right? Like, two more taps for Shock. If Shocky plays the imp and taps. Oh, he tapped! That's yeah. good. So, uh. So hey, right we're now, getting really close. Yeah. If the flame imp comes out. Hey. That's it. It's this just this mage might win a really hard matchup, it's possible. If the flame imp comes out, this is it. You just pyro a fireball. Like. Over two turns, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless Shaki plays, I, he might not play Flaming, but I think I'd be really worried about what he picked up from that 6 3. I would be way too scared. Flaming or no Flaming? Yeah. Woodwalker is gonna. He yeah, passed on it. Yeah, I like that play. Oh, oh, that's that's still fine. He's still, he's still t like, one okay. damage to face is all you need. You one damage face, and then you ping, and then you fireball, and then extra pyro. Let's see if it's face. Yes! Yes! Well done. Now, fireball face, ping face, he's actually gonna win! So let's. Uh, Malganus, Malganus. No, Malganus, but you can't kill his own. Oh, Malganus and Power of Overwhelm, huh? No, you just you just Malganus for nine. That's it. Oh, you just play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I was thinking get it out of Void Color, but you don't need to do that. Oh! There it is! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Stone, man. What? Oh! That's the only card! Oh my god! There's no way! He had to either draw Malganus right off the top, oh or top deck Power of Overwhelm. And then tap into Malganus, uh, Power Volume is Void Call. Wait, wait, wait. That's it, it, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, is there anything else? I mean, a Civil Portal could give him a BGH. Okay, this could give... Oh my god, this, this gives nothing, right? No, this you can't. Ice Lance? Doesn't, doesn't save matter. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. There's nothing. nothing in there, man. No. That's it. it. Wow, okay. Oh! No, wait, Malganus just... Five, six, you have to no, tank no, two no, damage. No, no. The end You're was dead. a 3-3, three, three, so die anyway. Dude. Oh, man! I mean, almost won a really hard matchup there. Yeah, that was a well-played game by Zelay. Now he's gonna ping his own face. So it was only top deck exactly Malganus, or top deck exactly, exactly Power well. Overwhelm yeah. into tap Malganus, right? Yeah, pretty much. You have to find Malganus with the next two cards, and if you did, you have to kill your own void color too. To be with the, uh... Or if you like run sack pack or something. But <laughs> sack pack heals him. You know what would have been crazier is sack pack. You just sack back the nymph for one. Sack pack would have been so yeah. troll. <laughs> 
Because okay. you expect so much Zoom in the format, you're like, yeah, let's just. That was a. Uh, yeah, that was great. Yeah. yeah. Orangey Stone, boys. You guys enjoy that? It was good. Man. I actually, okay, I have to say, Go. from the commentator desk, I really enjoy that. That was great. If that happened to me, though, I'm like, oh man, I actually set up this good kill with the Conjurer, and my opponent, like, didn't Doom Guard on five when he should have, and everything went my way. A little bit unfortunate for you sometimes. It happens. Um, but XD, you know? You gotta, like, you gotta move on. Malgamus, what's up, yo? Uh, so, this is gonna be. Uh, very dependent on the early game. There's a Harrison Jones though in Zelay's deck, right? It's pretty much everywhere, so if Doom Hammer shows up, you're good to go. Alright. A lot of XDs in the chat. <sighs> yeah, that's what you gotta do, dude. Just uh, keep calm and XD on. Um, Mana Worm is amazing in this matchup. Because... Because it's just a one drop, and it contests every single play that Shaman has, and yep. they're all really inefficient unless he wastes a Rock Biter, usually. Oh crap! What you want is you want like Mana Worm, Frostbolt, maybe Flame Cannon, because Flame Cannon on the Totem Golem. Yeah, Flame Waker is good as well. So it's all about getting a good two drop there for uh, for Shocky. He does pick up the Flame Tongue, so this Lepernome could trade up uh, if he ever wants to keep it alive. Uh, I mean, it traded away instead of using uh, spells. I mean, right Let's now, see. I still feel like the, having the coin with that Flame Waker is priceless. Yeah, you just get a Mana Worm, and then the Shaman's either going to Rock Biter or Lightning Bolt it. Mm -hmm. Well, it uh, depends what he gets. Yeah, he I mean, might, it, he might even Flame Tongue and trade, but. Yeah, I mean, if, if he picked up like another one drop, he might do it. Like, you pick up the one drop, he's right? for sure using yeah, like, Lightning Bolt or. Yeah, you pick one drop, one, then you go Bolt, and then. He still wants to do it. That's it. I guess Horse Rider might have made Flame Tongue viable, because then Horse Rider on 3 gives you like a 4 attack minion. Yeah. He doesn't want to get overloaded because he wants to play Feral Spirit. Yep. Makes a lot of sense. You're gonna have a ping here. Or Portal, depends, but usually ping. You usually want to slow this match down a lot. Yeah, as much as possible. So there's the ping. Uh, I think, I mean, I feel feral like... Feral Spirits are pretty annoying, but I guess Spell Slinger contests them well. Depends what... Because the thing is, they're, they're curving with, like, because they weren't playing on the coin, they're curving into flame tongue every time. Yeah, but not everyone runs flame tongue in this. He just happens to run two. I, I guess in this format. In yeah. this format. Okay, you could go double frost bolts. Nah. And that's, the, like, because you get a free turn four. I don't think uh, you're doing that, you though. do nothing. What, what they do nothing because they've only got two mana. I just don't see people double frost bolting him. Holy Smite's good. Oh my god, is Holy Smite good with Flame Waker? That's like Arcane Blast, yeah. Pretty sick. Ice Bear does very little. It's like from troll your opponent. This has to be flame time. Do you even trade? Probably not, right? Uh, it's eight damage or pushing. I think you do, because they can frostbolt it or something. Let's see. They can frostbolt the, the flame, flame time and trade. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be a very good turn for Zelay. Uh, He's just gonna go with coin frostbolt, I think. You might try would you try Holy Smite first without wasting the coin? Hmm. Cause I mean, frostbolting face when he's got Doom Hammer up is worth a ton. Like it's it buys you like two free turns of Interesting. safety. We'll see. You could go either way. He, water he's Ellie. considering just Water Ellie and do all the Flame Cannons, Flame Maker stuff next turn. Because then you could you <laughs> can more. frostbolt and Holy Smite next turn. Yeah, you can do even and the more. Water Ellie is pretty solid minion. And the thing is, like. It, you can frostbolt the face if Doom whoa, Hammer whoa, comes whoa. on fire. Okay, He's doing on Civil Portal frostbolt then, because he has two frostbolts. What? Oh, that's big. That is going to be insane. That's huge. Yeah, you can't flame juggler that, can you? Oh my god. You can. Does this work? Dude, you can, you, if you drop Dude, that, you it lives one it. turn. You can ping it and, and holy, holy smite. smite it. Yeah. Oh my god. GG. Like, just GG. Dude. Yeah. I know how you feel right now. Uh. I'm just like, oh. I'm feeling it right for Oh, yeah. Oh. When you leave minions on the board with Flame Tongue, that's kind of scary. Like, when he's, if he drops Guzzler right now. What? He might do um, Flame Maker first. Flame Maker, clear a bunch of stuff. Mm, yeah. Well, I mean, if he. Let's see. I, I foresee a double Flame Tongue. Um, if he ever wants to put a minion between them. I see him just doing Flame Juggler here. And he's got no charge main, right? He's got no charge. So he's use of the Flame Tongue and go, boom, two damage. To the dome. Okay, this this looks like you flame waker. You can't play gauze here. Like yeah, I think yeah. we pretty much agree that go. Whoa! Okay, flame waker. Flame waker. Sorcerer's apprentice. 
coin, frostbolt, and holy smite for zero. Let's just do this. Let's do it. Let's just go. Let's vomit the rainbow. Here we go. Let's uh, do this. Uh, everyone, get, my, get, get some craygasms in the chat. Unless everything misses. No, everything hits. Uh, oh. What if it all goes face? Oh, yeah. What if it all goes You want face? the flame juggler stuff 3 health? Oh my, oh my god. god. Hey, what? Flame juggler? No, no, not like this. Not like this, Rekul. Oh. No, oh. no, not face. Oh yeah. Not face. What is going on? Face is okay, going on. Okay, now you shoot the you shoot the flame tongue. No, you gotta shoot the four one. No, you shoot the flame you tongue, yo. Let's do go, this. let's go, no. let's do it. Disaster. Hit the flame tongue. It's all face. And the abusive. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Dude, why are we cheering for the temple mage? I just uh, like. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that goes real already, right? I actually, I love watching <laughs> flame flame maker. Is my favorite deck. Uh, just to watch at least, like playing it just makes me frustrated. I'll be honest. That was fun. Uh, I had okay. fun. That was good. Okay, so um, what do you do here? Like, if you're Shocky, like I know the salt levels will be kind of rising right now, um, knowing him. But like, uh, what's your game plan? Like well, generally speaking. Um. That I think I found the game plan. The juggler kind of. Oh God! Into that. Us. Us. Like kind of board. Always feels bad. Oh, is it that knife? Uh, for next turn. Nice. Okay, so Gazrilla is uh, a play. Unstable pro first. You know, dude, I just play Gauss here every day. Yeah, yeah. And then I ping it, and then I trade away my Flame Waker. And I just like... Balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> with with Godzilla afterwards, if you can set it this up. This is so troll. This is ridiculous. I'm not Gaz is... <laughs> dude, that trigger is like, oh god. Oh no, not like this. So I think uh, this is the point where Shocky's face... I love this. Uh, I'm loving this. Okay, so I think you totem and then you make get a new hero power. You, no, you trade your juggler first. <laughs> you you trade not, your juggler you away. Do not totem. <laughs> you like, actually do not want that uh, juggler. I mean, I, I guess. Okay, you trade your juggler, then you totem, then you surf Finley, get a new hero power, do that. I mean, technically, I guess if you play Ice Barrier, you could like you bolt the two three, right? And then and then you just play everything and Ice oh, Barrier God. for safety. We're juggling, dude. We're juggling. We didn't even tote him first. Oh, steady shot. Wait, why didn't we tote him first? What? We don't know. Nobody knows. Cause we, the that was is, a free totem. Well, then we want to play Ice Bear and Bolt. You don't understand. We want yep. damage output here. We just want to... You can play Ice Bear next turn, We want to stay safely. We might even it. get a Stone Claw. We don't want it. Why not? Because we're forcing the, the, the mage to trade away the gauze. Like, we're just going face here. Okay, never mind. He changed the game. You're right. Then that, that flame in no sense. The totem was the way to go. Yeah, it was the way to go. That could be vaporized. The bluff is real. Nobody knows what's up. Okay. Oh. Well, vaporized would be good here. It's kind of boring, though. Yeah. And... He has zero cards, though. You could ping and play Abomination. He can't kill the A-bomb because Gauss kills him afterwards. Pinging is fun. But if it's you vaporized, could actually... you're dead. I mean, you could... If you ping, you can't flame strike. So you have to then play A-bomb, which lowers you down to 11 baseline. So if you ping and go face and it's vaporized, you have a bomb as a backup plan. So it's not half as bad as it looks, but I think you might lose the race. You so remember when uh, Chucky? He's doing it, dude. It's happening. Yesterday, Chucky had a uh, vaporize. Mm -hmm. He yeah. just put, threw up the vape nation right after he got a. Um, what did he get with it? Uh, he he took like one. He got some minion. Purple, like, yeah, purple. Purple, purple. Went and it was like. Purple is like <laughs> most obvious duplicate ever face. <laughs> uh, oh. So he's just gonna OTK Super next Super safe turn. place. Yeah, well, it's good. It's, it's pretty. Yeah. It's the safe way. Let's go. Do you, do you like the water? Water alley's fine too. Just drop. Mm. Did you drop the water? Dude, he's leaving the juggler alive. I like the juggler. <laughs> what a little troll. Okay. This is this is like this is gonna everything's gonna blow up. Everything is just going to blow up. This is such an awkward spot for the shaman. Yeah, this is not you're, good. You're like, uh. Can I please? I don't think if so. If I attack. He gets big and I'm dead. <laughs> if I don't attack... So if I do nothing, I don't know how I win doing nothing. Keep in mind there's an Ice Berry, right? So that's eight more health. Um, so yeah, it's yeah. all about figuring out... But if he attacks, then he knows it's 24, then he can ping it to 48 and he's dead. Yeah, yeah. So he has to not do anything. He has to just pass. Okay, or you trade the juggler away, and then you pick up like... Yeah, you don't pick up anything. Well, if you do that, and they go face with all three... Oh, they go face with the A-bomb and that, it's 7. And then you can ping, if, if, you ping if your A-bomb. Right? If, it, if, like, if it were vaporized... You ping it or your A-bomb the same. Oh! You might fireball your own god. You fireball your own god. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, just like, you attack face, Make, you, you can make it 48 attack. Let's do this, let's do this. Zelay? 
Delay. I believe in you. <laughs> of course I'm gonna do it. This is fun though. Yeah, I like this. Let's go. 48 yeah. attack, no big deal. Yeah, but you don't think the A bomb, right? Because if you ping the A bomb and fireball, you're No, then your guy dies. Yeah, then your guy dies. And you go nowhere. Shoo! You actually could fireball face you, but some more swag. Nah. Look at the swag. This, this is a lot swag here. You could first. <laughs> What's up? Casual 48 to face. You know what it should do though? When Godzilla kills you with like 48 attack or more, it should literally eat you. There should be like an animation coming out of the card, eating it here. I'm a role player. Wow. My name is Noxious. Because that happens so often. It, but they, need it, to, they need to take time to make an animation just for that. Honestly? Yeah, Mimron's head. When's the last time you saw that, that, thing, that thing played? Um, when is it? I saw it, I saw it Forsen, on Forsen's stream. He got it off like a couple like yeah, a I know month Forsen, ago or Forsen, something. Forsen gets it. Somehow. Know. I think. But even, even then, it's like... Get a Dr. Boom down. How, the how much bots. time do you think? that I got it from Portal, I think. Like, took a long time. They, they did the animation. He just never saw play. And we're stuck with like a bad Gazrilla. I mean, honestly, I'm offended as a hunter. As a beast lover. Um, okay, okay. I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God so, damn it. <laughs> no, just shut up. So Sometimes gonna... <laughs> I just gotta stop it. It just like goes on yeah. about anything. Just. It's cool. It's cool. Random little tangents. I, like I do it too. Yeah. It's kind of normal. You gotta stop me. No, I don't. No. It's the best. You XD out of it, it's pretty simple. Sometimes, like, bestiality is just... The way to go, man. Yeah. You gotta just love the beast. Just makes me just feel right. right. Just makes me feel right, you know? Yeah. When I cast Polymorph... Now, here he might get tempted to coin oh, Feral Spirit this mark, but he will get punished by Bash. Yeah, he'll get punished by a lot here, granted. Uh, I guess Juggle could technically do a lot of work here. Like, if the Juggler with the coin Abusive ends up pinging the Yammer Smith and you trade, um, you're ahead on board to get the Feral Spirit right afterwards. So you get two extra knives. <laughs> I think that's the play, right? Unless... Hmm. I mean, I, I think that's the play I'd make. But if you go Feral Spirit and there's no Bash, then you're so far ahead. Because if there were a Fire War Axe, you would have seen it. So the only out here would be... What if he bumps the Armor Smith? He gets punished less. I like he that. did it! I love that. Nice. Yeah, nice bump. Okay. See, Bash doesn't look nearly as good now. He's still going to do it. You bash. He's thinking. Yeah, I, like this did two things, by the way. Will like, I bash? The armor smith can't attack a wolf twice to set it up for a death white AOE. So it's like this ping not only prevents a good bump. punish. It was a crazy good bump. I like good bumps. I love bumps. Every kind of bump. I hate speed bumps actually. Yeah, those suck. I sometimes. They're crazy, man. I know. It's What's up like, with that? What is this? Like, I can't believe I have to go over this every day. Yeah. What is going on? It's a roller coaster. It's not even a speed bump at some point. I don't know. I don't get this. Um, but I don't have a car, so I just kind of like jump over them. Yeah. How do you get around? Uber everywhere. Yeah. What? Uber everywhere. They, Uber everywhere. You don't. You don't Uber everywhere. It's all right. Yeah. I just, I, I just don't do it. You don't even have my to my last Uber driver was telling me how uh, he was picking. He picks up this professor every once in a while who decided to just drop his car so he doesn't have to pay car insurance and for his car payment. And he Ubers to it costs work, us to Ubers to work every single day, and he said it cost him about the same as his car payment. And his it cost me a bit less, I think, from what I calculated. Yeah. Yeah. So you actually Uber everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I let the plebs pay their. Uh, Maybe I should Uber everywhere. You should do it. You don't even have to bother. It's like a private uh, chauffeur, right? You don't even have to bother with it. Problem is, like, if you want to go to the corner store, then you actually have to like lift your butt off, like, and you have to walk. Although, unless you want to Uber for five bucks, which Amaz does. So technically, let's go, let's go. you could. Oh uh, no knife. No knife. It's fine. Never knife. Doesn't change you. anything really. Well, you probably turn it into two one because it dies to the AOE anyway. Your two three is dying to the main attack anyway. Yeah, so I guess the two three works as well. So, well, I mean, you lose your entire board here, right? Like Zelay just gets. Yeah, everything. you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, and Baron Geddon is also not a card you want to see. Will he use execute or there's, slam? There's a lot of cases where people execute here just because they get to uh, to weave in the the, the, the second death bite if they feel they're gonna need the removal. Thing is, if Totem Golem comes out. That's why it needs to be there. Th no, 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 no. I mean, the armor up is also worth considering, right? Because you slam and then you can oh, keep wow, the death bite. You can keep the death bite, right? So you just armor up and 
Betrayed. Yeah, that's cute. It weaves in the extra. Oh, um, he's still gonna attack. Yeah. I thought he's gonna hold it. No, no, no you, you do. Because against Shaman, the only thing is like if they start, if they're a star for, uh, for board, you end up usually winning. So being very liberal with your executes is necessary. I've seen so many people try to get greedy with the executes. Like, yeah, but yeah. he used his slam there just to save two health. Yeah, to, against Shaman, it's usually how you win. You need to just reach a certain point, like turn seven, where you, you've, you've been dominating the board. Uh, and they just do mm. nothing. I guess the Stoneclaw could have totem would have stayed there with one HP, and that would be annoying. Because then you can't just like the next anymore. Oh man, he's not spawning totems anymore, so it's all on this hero power. The life tap is pretty sweet. Uh, the druid hero power is actually really good with Doom, Doom Hammer. Hammer. It makes it hit for three twice. Yeah. So would, I would not fault him for taking the druid one at all. It's 24 damage right there with Doom Hammer. Actually, I might take the druid one because he has stuff to do the next couple turns. Even a Lava Burst and Leper that's a little bit more mileage, and he's gonna top deck. Next turn, he's gonna be equipped in the Doom Hammer. Turn after that, uh, maybe he'll just yell a Lava Burst or something, or maybe he'll draw Ancestral Knowledge. Maybe he'll draw Totem Golem. Okay, Le he goes with Life Tap anyway. It's fine. Either either one's fine. That's why he thought about it for a while, though. You kind of want to get uh, the second Rock Rider ASAP. I get that, but ultimately, like, the extra hero power. I guess you might get shut down by Harrison, in which case, Life Tap is miles better, right? Even Belcher kind of stops you from doing what you want. Like, if Belcher or Harrison Jones, those two just roadblock you. And then a Doom Hammer looks a lot worse. Let's see what he gets now. Mm. This is just going to be a Doom Hammer turn. Yeah, Some sure. people might horse rider and tap. I kind of like it just because you're forcing the war to attack into it anyway. So it's dealing four, effectively. And you're drawing into more options. Yeah, but it kind of makes it awkward for them when you have just Lepernome on the board. And they're like, oh, do I death spite his face and kill that? Or, like... Yeah. One thing we know for sure is that Baron Geddon will feel very awkward for Zelay. I think I would Doom Hammer. Uh, okay. Sure. You're actually getting really close. Do you Doom Hammer and Rock Rider this turn? You could Lava Burst and, and crackle, crackle next turn. And set up like an Aura Horse Rider with Flame Tongue Top Deck exact... later. Yeah, I think you're right. So. Okay. Yeah, because the Lepernome dying also is two more damage. That AoE from the Death Spite is going to be solid damage. Better. He's already down to 15. Yeah. Uh, he'll still be at 15 after armoring up and the Leopard. I'm dying. You know, it's even. You lose two, you gain two. Mm -hmm. And then you have. The shield block. You have nine next turn plus Crackle. So Crackle for six would be lethal next turn. Shield block is to get. Shield like, block's going to be played, though. Yeah. I mean, you have to get Justicar ASAP at this point. Like, you, you want to get Justicar on six, ideally. Because um, this is starting to get really scary. Six mana. Okay. You just you might keep you might do this because you keep the execute enabler with the death bite. Um, yeah, I mean I, I'm not against I'm not against the idea, right? It's not, yeah, it's either, not terrible. any of those are fine. Before. Okay, now. Well, I mean, there's a ton of. He's at twenty. There's a ton of ways for Shocky to seal the game. He's got Doomhammer coming in for four turn. Yeah. Horse Rider is gonna ride in. Oh God! Wow. Okay, that's a lot. So uh, tap horse rider, and then you're not overloaded next turn. Eight mana, and then you just smork. You already have six damage of smork. Worry, you you just throw damage. everything face. So Zelay needs. Uh, oh, feels, a I mean, there's nothing here, right? Feels really good to be the shaman here. Like so you slam this, oh, like you draw yeah. a card, sure, but how do you win? Oh my God! There's no Reno. You're not so dead. Oh, slam revenge buys you maybe a shield block top deck. Does that, does that win? Does that stabilize? That is. No. No, that doesn't. He's nothing. dead. He's ripped. I wanna watch. I like watching all this burn damage come face. <laughs> oh, this is the last match, by the way, of the series. Yeah, Shocky's taking. This the is the winners' game. final. No, but not, then, the, not the finals, but. Uh, it's called the winners' final. Okay, sure. And then the real final is after the loser bracket completes. I like how they call the, the grand okay, finale. Look at all the smart coming in. Yeah, it's a lot. So. So. Here it goes. Grapple for, for six for good measure. Okay, four. Okay. Boom. It's enough. He needed a four, though. Actually. Yeah. He needed, if he hit for three, there was no lethal. Yeah, yeah. Because he was going to be a little bit of a. He had only 75% lethal. Right. Only 75. But then he always had the lethal the next turn, probably. So. Yeah. But 20, like, tournaments have been won on the back of, like, 25% lethal. So. Mm hmm. Well done, Shocky. Well done. You know, I, I thought maybe Azalea would be the one who uh, takes out Shocky, but. It's close. Yeah. Shocky's close. number one, I think, in the, in the rankings. Zelay, right behind him. You know the big... The big? The one play that mattered that game was when he bumped the Armorsmith yeah. with his Trog. To Trog on turn one, because it really set up like awkward death spites for 
three turns straight. If he didn't do that, the game possibly would have went differently here. Yeah, because an AoE would have dealt with the wolf that had to be uh, shield slammed. Like, it had to be slammed. There was like a point where he slammed the wolf that would have died to AoE if he hadn't bumped. The warrior really needed a belcher though. Yeah. No belcher. Yeah, none. You get a belcher with the armorsmith behind, it's just so good. You usually get like three armor. Even I could have pain forces the shaman to play a little bit awkwardly sometimes. Yeah, I think the warrior would have still lost actually, even without the bump. You're taking three more damage that turn. Harrison Jones. That would have been good. Yeah. Well, uh, what do we have now? The loser match is Trump versus uh, Honorable. Mm -hmm. The yeah. winner of that plays Lay. Which and then, then the grand finals. Yeah, Chalky is gonna like in the last match he's gonna get. So he's in the grand finale already. Uh, and he's got already one match over his opponent because he's in the winners. So Shalky's pretty much that's what it looks like getting carried by his uh, early score. So very well done. Admirable is uh, I mean Trump and Orange really want to get this though. Like these guys really try harding. They're really serious about the event. Okay. Yeah. You so is noticed? this a break now? It should be a break. Or are we going straight to the match? Usually a break. We have no idea. Well, it's a oh, break. Oh, we're supposed to shout out all the stuff. Um, Do it. I'm good at this. Watch That's... this. Fanatic Gear, thanks for sponsoring this tournament. Got this. Twitch. I know who that is. Thanks, Twitch. Two out of three. And Bean Boozle Jelly Beans from Jelly Belly. Yep. I'm the best. Yeah, I thought you were going to say Jelly yeah. Beans, but you, you caught it at the end mm. there. From Jelly Belly. And um, Jelly Belly. Skamaz shirts under the stream. Yeah, 20% stake. He's got wow. it, so... you got know, a 20% stake. He's biased. That's all I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting the other being here. Oh, she. Yeah. Okay. Break, will guys. I really get anything? We'll I don't think out. you will. You're mm. done. I, we'll find out. They'll be like, they were called Skamaz shirts. Do you think you were going to get anything out of that? Okay. I think it's time for break.